Hey guys, what's up? So today, I'm finally gonna be able to do some blind tasting. Yep, the local lockdowns are over, so I've finally been able to catch up with Janessa with her being my assistant in this video. So what I'm gonna be doing today is trying to understand if I'm able to distinguish between these two wines. The two wines I'm featuring today would be two Shirazes. One is priced $3.50 and the other is priced as $5.50 from Wine Depot. And most importantly, they are both rated as 3.4 on the Vivino app. So I wanted to see and taste test blindly if I actually like the more expensive one or will I like the cheaper one. I know I like them cheap, but maybe this time around I might choose the more expensive one. Without further ado, I'm gonna leave the room and she's gonna be pouring the wines and see if I get it right. Lovely to shoot over lunchtime. Let's get some day drunkenness now. Oh, right and left. Okay. You're right and left. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Let's start with the one on my right. Ooh, okay. Already I taste a bit of difference. I could tell the difference, but I don't know which is which. The right one seems a lot more gentle, a bit fruitier, a little more sour, a little bit more acidic. I'm smelling the vanilla from the right one. The vanilla is getting strong as I swirl. It's making me crave McDonald's sundae. And this one on the left. This one smells a lot more bitter stronger in terms of alcohol because it's a Shiraz there's also vanilla on the nose do you want me to guess before before even tasting I'll give you my guess even before tasting and this is not cheating and don't react if I get it right the one on the right is the Arenberg's the stomp jump the red one at 550 and the left one would be the De Bordoli the Accomplice. From my understanding, some background check here about the two different vineyards. The one where the stomp jump is from is from McLaren Vale. Actually has a very gentle climate. The climate there is similar to the Mediterranean. There's a bit of balance. Uh, McLaren Vale has four seasons. So the wine it produces, it's also a bit gentle. It's not as harsh as opposed to the one from De Bortoli, which is coming from Riverina from New South Wales, which is a very dry climate and its wines are more aggressive um, because of the conditions. So that's a lot before even tasting anything. So if I get this wrong, it's on me. So that's my guess. Will I change my mind? Let's see. Starting with the right. That's a spicy finish. Yeah, that threw me off a little. It is gentle, gentle on the nose. Let's try one more. Very spicy, especially if you let it linger in your mouth. It's not a bitter Shiraz. So far, I still think this is the one from McLaren Vale. I'm quite confused, guys, in as much as the left one was more bitter on the nose. It's actually sweeter, so I'm not sure which is more gentle. I think this might be a situation of having read too much on the backgrounds of both wines and the vineyard, so I'm not sure right now. What do you think, babe? I'm just <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep to my guess. And as much as this can have a spicy finish, I would stick to my initial observation. It's a gentle Shiraz. This one, I may have mistook being sweet as, as gentle, but I think it's not the case. So I feel like the one on the left is a lighter color. The one on the right is more maroon-ish. So, time to decide, guys. 
I don't know. <laughs> this is my guess, the one on the right. Like I said earlier, the stomp jump from the Arenberg, from McLaren Vale, from South Australia. And the one on the left would be the accomplice, the Bertoli, from Riverina, New South Wales. So, can we have the verdict in? So what is this? Here you go. Okay, so this one? The big reveal? Yes! <laughs> I got it right. I got it right. So... You have a mini heart attack. <laughs> yeah. I was so afraid to fail. Okay. Was this how I lined it up earlier? Yes, I think this was how exactly. it was lined up earlier, yeah. but it's not... I didn't change it! I left the room. Um, you have to trust us here, guys. Stomp Jump is a gentle Shiraz. I feel like it has complex flavors. It's not as outward or aggressively spicy as a lot of Australian Shirazes would be. I think the Accomplice is a little tad bit sweeter than I would have hoped. They are both rated 3.4. Both of these, I'm gonna give a 7.5 right now. Um, for both 7.5, you might consider the, the Accomplice if you're working on a budget. It's not so much a master sommelier, master of wine type of environment where I, I completely guessed it. I mean, I had a lot of factors down. Maybe next time we'll be doing this in a more blind setting scenario uh, where I won't know too much. But for now, I'm gonna take my wins. And cheers everybody. Thanks for joining me for a drink again today. And if you've liked this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and consider subscribing. And see you again next time. Cheers!